recording in progress. So this is Kajari Majumdar on behalf of TIFR CMS group. A very good morning to everybody. A warm welcome to our symposium at TIFR Mumbai, celebrating a decade of the Higgs. This may be one of the first events in the world to celebrate the magnificent science of the Higgs boson particle discovered almost 10 years back. The discovery confirmed our ideas about the physics of the universe almost at its birth, and hence indeed it was a leap of mankind, giant leap of mankind. The idea among us, amongst us, the TIFR CMS group, was to have a grand feast with the knowledge acquired so far about this unique particle. However, we quickly realized that uh, we have to be practical on many counts. That also included the pre prevailing global situation. We are still quite elated about this meeting, and I'm sure all of you are. So as of now, the number of registered participants is uh, 322. That uh, really says something, and we are very happy about it. Incidentally, almost 100 years back, Indian scientist S.N. Bose developed the idea of particles with integer space, which are now called bosons. And the Higgs boson is a unique fundamental particle in that category observed so far to possess the spin of value zero. During last 10 years, we have learned about this particle much more than we had initially expected. However, only by deciphering the manifestations of its many other characteristics to minute details, we hope to anticipate in reasonably newer future the nature of the known unknowns, as well as very crucial aspects about the whole universe, like where it is heading to and so on. Thus, we have much work in hand, and we have gathered here, of course, remotely, to take a stock of the current scientific situation about the Higgs boson. The speaker list of the symposium, symposium includes the founder figures of the CMS experiment, to scientists with some of the highest honors from their respective countries, to people who shaped the strategy of the Higgs boson search, to people who continue to play central roles in understanding the science involved. We are extremely honored by their participation in this meeting. We are also extremely happy about the enthusiasm from people across the country, as I have already mentioned. It was a September morning in 2008 when I made a small presentation in the meeting of the Natural Sciences Faculty of TIFR, informing about the first circulation of the proton beam in the LHC accelerator. It was in this very room, and the meeting was being presided over by the then Dean Professor S. Ramakrishnan. And presently, he is our director and I request him to deliver the welcome speech. Professor Ramakrishnan. Thank you, Kajari. On behalf of Tata Institute of Animal Research, uh, let me welcome all the participants to this meeting where you are planning to celebrate the decade of uh, Higgs discovery. TFR has been a leading institute in the experimental particle physics in the country right from its inception. Our founder, Dr. Homi Bhava, himself was a pioneer in cosmic ray physics. And it's only natural that the high energy scientists from TFR, when they heard about uh, this LHC project uh, in 1990s, and they were very keen and they showed a lot of enthusiasm. And this enthusiasm was further strengthened by the visits of director generals of CERN, especially Professor Carlo Rubia, Nobel laureate, followed by Christopher Smith and also the research directors of CERN. So India was one of the first few countries to assure support for the LSC project when it was officially proposed by CERN Council in 1991. In a meeting held uh, in 1994 at TIFR, the officials of the Department of Atomic Energy, the Nodal Institute of uh, TIFR and aided institutions discussed uh, a possible cooperation with the officials from CERN about the LHC product, project in terms of uh, experiment and accelerator. In 2003, India was awarded the observer status of CERN. And in 2006, uh, CERN Director General Fabio Giamnotti visited India for the purpose of signing this agreement uh, for India's contribution to the construction of LHC accelerator and two of the four experiments, CMS and allies, and also worldwide LSG computing grid. And in 2017, India was given the associate member status in the CERN Council. And this collaboration with the, both the CMS and allies 
with the CERN has gone from strength to strength. To state that in 1991, when the R&D efforts were started with, for the LSC, there were only five groups from India who were participating. Now it has grown to 15 in the current status. And I'm sure this is expected to grow more and more when again the LSC starts operating with a higher luminosity from 2026. In addition, I think uh, the uh, Hardware support from TAFR was also substantial. And uh, the first India made hardware for the CMS detector was the Hadron Outer Calorimeter. And it was built in, in TAFR with the participation from scientists from Punjab University. And subsequent contribution for TAFR in the readout and electronic upgrade of the operational CMS experiment was also substantial. Along with other Indian groups, TFR is now involved in construction of several subsystems meant for high luminosity operation at LSC, which is scheduled to start from 2026. So right from 2006, CERN has decided to increase the global effort to develop worldwide computing facility for analyzing the LSC data. And TFR was offered to host the CMS Tire 2 Grid Computing Center. This facility was commissioned by 2008 before the physics collision started with the LSE machine at, in 2009. So it was timely and, and uh, it contributed significantly, significantly to the CERN central computing machinery in addition to support to all the users of, from India in the CMS experiment. I'm sure with the CMS uh, LHC starting again at uh, 2026, this, uh, there will be an expansion of this grid facility and so that more and more groups from India can participate and uh, use this facility. So I think all in all, I think this CMS experiments with CERN is going to have even more brighter future. And I'm sure more and more groups from high energy physicists from India would participate. And I think this meeting, uh, which Kajari mentioned, is, is timely and uh, possibly it's going to be a really a stimulating session for all these high energy physicists who are participating in this uh, venture. So once again, let me thank uh, all the participants, who, those who are joined online, those who are physically present, all the best. Thank you. Thank you, you Thank you so much. Uh, may I request Professor Seema Sharma of uh, ICER Pune to take over the scientific session? And I request uh, both Professor Ramakrishnan and uh, Professor uh, Maiti as a dean to just attend whenever you have time. I know you have a very busy schedule. So yes, as you said, that it is going to be very exciting time. Whole week, we will really have a grand feast of science for the history. Thank you so much.